Hello, my friends. This is lecture number three of the pre-calculus course, Natural Exponential Functions. If you want to see the other uh, lectures, please, you can visit the playlist, pre-calculus course lectures. Now, the objectives here are, we will uh, see the number E, what does it mean? And then the uh, natural exponential function and their graphs. So the number E is an irrational number. It's 2.71828. Just a simple idea from where did we get E? If we have the expression one plus one over N or to the power N and we plug in some integers here, positive integers. So if n is one, this is the uh, value. If n is two, three, five, ten thousand million, then we will reach, as we increase the value of the n, we reach the value of e, which is 2.71828, etc. So this is an irrational number. So we can use it as, as one of the bases. So just to remind you that the base in the exponential function cannot be negative. So the base A is greater than zero. A cannot be one. <clears throat> so it's either greater than one, where we have the function increasing, or A between zero and one, where the function is decreasing. Just to remind you also that pi here, between three and four, pi is an irrational number, and also E, between two and three, is an irrational number. Now let's look at the natural exponential function. The natural exponential function is an exponential function where we have the base is e. So we can have a function like this. f of x is equal e to the power x. So I will graph here e to the power x in the black color. And then I will compare it with 3 to the power x, 2 to the power x. We have mentioned in the previous lecture that as we increase the base, the graph, will be closer to the y-axis. So the base 3 is bigger than e and the base 2 is less than e. So here the domain is minus infinity to plus infinity and the range 0 to infinity without shifting. Now let's take uh, an example where we have some shifting here. f of x minus 1 plus e to the power x plus 2. Let's graph it, find the domain, find the range, etc. So to graph this, I will do it by steps. So I look at the base here. See, I can see the base is E. So this is natural exponential function. So I draw E to the power X, which will pass through zero and one. Because if you put X equals zero here, E to the power zero is one. So the graph, the basic graph passes through zero and one. And then we shift two units to the left here. See the whole graph, this graph here, just take it to the left two units. See this is zero, one. See here on the, on the left becomes here minus two, one. Just the whole graph. And then shift it down here, one unit because of the minus one. So you go down one unit from here. X plus two, you go down one unit. And then the horizontal asymptote is y equals minus 1 now. So let's find the x-intercept. Let y is equal to 0. So I put here y, here 0. Is equal to this. Take 1 on the other side. e to the power x plus 2 is equal to 1. The only way we can have this one is, is true when we have the exponent here is 0, e to the power 0. So this will be zero, so x will be minus two here is the x-intercept. See the, the, the solid black here is the final graph. Now y-intercept, let x is equal to zero, so we have minus one plus e squared. Just leave it. If you don't have a calculator, just leave it. We know this is a number somewhere here on the y-axis. So minus one plus e squared, if you have a calculator, it will be 6.38. You square the e, and then you add minus one. So this is the domain, the range now is shifted. See the range becomes minus one open until infinity. This is a little more difficult where we have natural exponential function with absolute value. 
So this is absolute value of one minus e to the power x plus two. Now we need to graph it, where the graph is increasing, decreasing, find the value of f of zero, find image of two. I have mentioned before in lecture three that if we have an absolute value on the function, you draw the function inside, I will show now, and then take the absolute value, everything negative under the x-axis, make it positive, and then you add, shifting up two units here is at the end we do that. Now for the solution to graph the function f, which is absolute value one minus e to the power x plus two, we will go by steps here. The function inside, I will call it capital N, N of x, plus two. Plus two, I will use it later. So let's graph first the function inside, which is capital N. We start with the basic natural exponential function, which is increasing, passing through zero, one, because the base here, 2.7, is greater than one. Then there is a reflection in the x-axis. So we reflect that graph in the x-axis like this, and then we shift up one unit. See, this is one unit up. So this graph is passing through zero minus one, it will pass through the origin. So the horizontal asymptote now, y equals one. So this final graph here on the right side here, this is the n of x, which is one minus e to the x. So this is n again, see? We need now to draw absolute value of n after the graph of n of x. So this is n of x. Why I put two colors here? To show you this part of the n, this is the n here. This part, the blue, is below the x. That means it's negative y. Below the x-axis, negative y. So we have to make it positive because we put absolute value now. So this graph is n of x. And this graph here, the black, the whole graph, is absolute value of n of x, which is absolute value of one minus e to the power x, the whole black. And here the n is the black and the blue together is the n. Why I put the color just to show you the negative part. So now we have to take this one, the absolute value of n of x, up to units. Now look at the final graph here. So you shift up two units. So now this is F, absolute value of one minus e to the power x plus two. You can do it faster or you can go by my method if you like. So as the function is increasing, increasing from zero here, we, we use all the x values here on the interval. So zero open to infinity, decreasing from minus infinity until zero f of zero i replace zero in the function in the f itself so it will be uh, two yes f of zero is two find what the image of what was the question there the image of two you see the image of two so i replace two in this function here so i find f of two one minus e squared one minus e squared is a negative number, see, inside the absolute value. When I simplify this, this is from the algebra course, so we have to put a minus there. So minus, minus one, plus e squared, plus two. So there's a minus one here, plus two, which is one. So e squared plus one, that's the answer. This is the image of two. Because at two here, you see that one, two here, you go there up, it will be something like 8.38. And the range will be closed from two to infinity. This is an easy, nice, interesting question. The natural exponential function f of x is equal e to the power x. Let's find all this expression here. f of x plus two divided by f of x minus one plus two times f of two times f of x plus one divided by f of x. I think it's a good idea here to try this. You can pause the video, please, and then try it if you want, and then check the answer. So the whole idea here is take these values of the x, x plus two, just replace it there in the x, and then x minus one. 
again replace it there in the function. And we will do like this f of x plus 2, so it will be e to the power x plus 2. Down here, e to the power x minus 1. We leave this 2. f of 2, just put 2 in the x. So e squared times e to the power x plus 1 times e to the power x, that's the function. Now we have to use these rules of exponents from the algebra course. When you multiply exponents with the same base, you add the power. When you divide with the same base, you subtract the power. So here we, you have to use that now, we apply it, this is we subtract here. Here we will add because we have e and e, we leave this two. After we finish, we subtract up and down here. So we continue, uh, here we divide, see e to the power x plus two minus, minus, you see x minus one, that's the formula. And here we add two x plus one, it will be x plus three. Now I subtract here x plus three minus the x, because that's m o n. So the first one will give me e cubed. And this one will give me two to the two times e cubed. All right, so you can add. So this is like x plus two x or y plus two y e cubed something plus two times the same thing. So three e cubed is the whole expression. Now find the intersection point or points of the graphs. We have now f of x is a function e, natural exponential function to the power minus three minus x. And we have a function g of x, the square root of e to the power five. That's a constant, that's a number here. So let's see if there is any point of intersection between the graphs. So this is exponential function, this is a constant function. So one easy way we can do algebraic method, I put y equals y. y from here is equal y from there. Or I can say also f of x is equal g of x. So e to the power minus three minus x, that's the function e. Now e to the power five over two. Square root of e to the power five will be e to the power five over two. Now we have the same base. So minus three minus x is equal five over two. I need x. So I take x on the other side and then I bring five over two on this side. So it will be minus three minus five over two. The LCD is two. So that's minus six and minus five, minus 11 over two. So now they intersect the graphs at this point, minus 11 over two, at this value of the x here. See here, note, I just put the graph to show you. So what do you do now? You take this x, you can replace it here. See, f of minus 11 over two, or g of minus 11 over two will get the same value. Now, if you take x, there is no x here. So the answer will be e to the power five over two for the y. If you put minus 11 over two there, it will be minus three minus inside minus 11 over two. When you simplify it, you get e to the power five over two. So this is the value of the y. So I put here the graph just to show you what is the meaning of this question. So this is the exponential e to the power minus three minus x. You can do it as we did before with shifting and reflection. And this is a constant square root of e to the power five. That's a constant straight line. Now, usually here I put some questions for you to practice like this function e to the power minus x minus one and then minus one outside where the graph is below the x, where the graph is decreasing, find the range. And then uh, graph this function, huge, big function here. e to the power x plus e to the power 2x times this minus this one times this one divided by this one squared. So what do you think the idea here? How do we graph this? For sure, you have to think of simplifying and then you can graph. Find the domain of this function. 
see what what will make the denominator zero and then here we have a function f of x is equal e to the power x minus e to the power minus x divided by two is this function even or odd you have to check we have seen the idea in the algebra course you replace x by minus x you check find the image of three and then we have uh, absolute value here but we have five minus e to the power minus absolute value of x so the absolute value now on the x graph it and find the range if you want to see these graphs about absolute value please you can check the previous lecture now here is the answers question number one with the graphs and all the parts question number two three four and five so you can check it please and uh, if you want to see the complete solution please for these questions and their parts you can see the video on natural exponential function lecture number three pre-calculus old exams questions thank you for watching if you like the video you can subscribe and share it with your friends just to remind you that this is pre-calculus course lecture number three thank you very much